and welcome to Peculiar Journeys with Pastor JL. I'm Pastor JL. This is my peculiar journey. If you're like, where in the world are you, Pastor JL? I'm in Kidventure, but I'm at a very fancy campsite. Look at that. Look at that fancy campsite, Mom. Isn't it so nice? I know, because HB Kids is going to be going to Kids Camp and... We are going to be having a cool fundraiser. So if you live in the Santa Clarita Valley, you can join us at Toppers in Valencia on Tuesday. We have a fundraiser happening, and I will post this in our Instagram story, the flyer, so you can show the, um, the people over at the Toppers in Valencia, California, this little flyer um, and proceeds from what is uh, purchased will go toward kids camp. So that is very helpful. So that's why I'm here. Also, I found a sheep. Yes, look at that sheep. This is my sheep friend. His name is Stanley. For those of you who go to VBS, you might know Stanley. Stanley makes his appearances, especially with Mr. Sid. Stanley, do you love Mr. Sid? Wait, what, Stanley, do you love Mr. Sid? Okay, Stanley loves Mr. Sid. Mr. Sid, Stanley says hello. All right, very good. So today I have a story about a sheep. What really also about a shepherd. We're going to look at Psalm 23. And I like it in the beginner's Bible because it has pictures. Don't you just love pictures? Look at that. Bam. The Lord is my shepherd. Let's read. The Lord, oh, the Lord is my shepherd, Psalm 23. This says, this is one of King David's songs about God. So King David, he wrote lots of psalms or songs about God. So this is one of them. It says, the Lord is my shepherd. He gives me everything I need. Do you ever need things like maybe food, clothes, water, um, family, right? Friends, lots of things we need, right? Okay, so he gives me everything I need. He lets me lie down in fields of green grass. Look at that green grass. Ooh, that's some good looking green grass. Okay, he leads me, lets me lie down in fields of green grass. He leads me beside quiet waters. He gives me new strength. This may be especially for our adults watching. Do you ever need some new strength? Me. Okay. Oh, this is Miss Susan's favorite chapter. Miss Susan, well, today is for you then. All right. So now that looks a little bit different, right? You've got this. You've got this. So let's see what happens here. He guides me in the right paths for the honor of his name. Even though I walk through the darkest valley. Whoa, the darkest valley. What's going to happen? I will not be afraid. You, God, are with me. Your shepherd's rod and staff comfort me. If you look at this picture right here, it looks kind of crazy, right? I mean, look, you got all these little eyes and it's dark. How many of you are, sometimes you're scared of the dark, sometimes maybe a little bit, but you know what? We don't have to be afraid because who's with us? The shepherd is with us, right? That's right. Our shepherd, Jesus, is always with us. So let's read on. Okay, here we go. Ooh, this looks good. This looks good. It says, you prepare a feast for me. All right, think about your favorite food. Mmm, delicious. Okay, you prepare a feast for me right in front of my enemies. Okay, look at that. Do you see the enemy of the sheep? The sheep? The lion. The lion's like, I'm going to eat you, right? But the sheep... Looks pretty great. Why is the sheep not afraid? Because the sheep has the shepherd. Just like we don't have to be afraid because we have who? We have God Almighty with us. Mm, that's right. You pour oil on my head. My cup runs over. Okay, here's the end of it. That's a great looking sunset, I just have to say. I am sure that your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. And I will live in the house of the Lord for. Ever. Amen. Here's what's so cool. When I was a little girl growing up, my mama taught me Psalm 23, and we would pray Psalm 23 before we went to bed at night and also before I went to school. So, you know what? I'm going to pray for all of us right now. Okay? Stanley, are you going to pray with us too? Okay, very good. Stanley's going to pray with us. So, let's pray together. Lord Jesus, we thank you, Lord, that you are our shepherd and we shall not want. You make us to lie down in green pastures. You lead us beside still waters. You restore our soul. 
You lead us in paths of righteousness for your name's sake. And even though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we will fear no evil, for you are with us. Your rod and your staff, they comfort us. You prepare a table before us in the presence of our enemies. You anoint our heads with oil, our cup overflows. Surely, goodness and mercy will follow us all the days of our lives, and we will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And also, Lord, thank you that you are our shepherd. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Amen, Stanley. Yeah, he's totally said amen. Come on, right? Also, shout out to my my Kentucky family. I wore this for you guys today. Kentucky. Mm, amen. I love you, Rossi family, forever. Okay, so there you go. That's our peculiar journey today with sheep, with Kentucky, with kids camp. And a family fundraiser for Kids Camp. So there you go. Have a beautiful day. Remember, every day with God is an adventure. So let's live God's adventures together. And I will see you next time on Peculiar Journeys with Pastor JL. See you later. Bye.